Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Energies by Khushbu. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing fabulous. So today is a different sort of reading. Today we are going to do the full moon reading that is going to happen on January 6th, 2023. This is the first full moon that has occurred in the new years and it is in the sun sign of Cancer. So the energy is that this new <clears throat> Excuse me. So the energies that this new moon is going to bring is about emotional healing. <clears throat> uh, many of the past suppressed emotions are going to come on the surface again. You're going to feel a lot of pressure to talk about important matters with your friends, families or many of the topics that you have already avoided with the families. Those are going to resurface and you want there will be an urge for you to talk about these matters. Also, the new moon uh, as sorry as the full moon is in the sun sign of cancer it is going to be a very emotional day for you all so these are the energies that uh, the full moon is going to bring i suggest you should do uh, some of uh, the new moon rituals like there are many moon rituals that you can follow you can bathe in the new moon and uh, sorry why am i saying it new moon you can bathe in the full moon energy it will be really good for you you can calm yourself by meditation in the full moon that is also going to be really beneficial for you also you can uh, do chanting if you want and if you will or sound meditation is also good for you all uh, as well as uh, prioritizing your emotions and healing is a very good notation during this full moon so let's dive into your reading today we are going to do a different sort of reading we are going to check what uh, what energies and what messages this new moon is going to bring for my collective so let me shuffle the cards this is the moon moonology deck that we are going to use first let's get some messages from this deck for my collective let's see what this full moon brings for you so the first card we have is step out of comfort zone that is a north node beautiful let's get two more cards for the full moon Full moon that is happening on 6th January. What are the messages for that? We have you are very close to achieving your goal. Gibbous moon. Such beautiful illustrations these cards have. I really love it. And what is the last message? we have don't let your past hold you back south node interesting so we have a north node card a gibbous moon card and a south node card it's like in a flow it says step out of your comfort zone you are really close to achieving your goal don't let your past hold you back and as you see the gibbous moon is somewhat near to the full moon and it has a very beautiful energy and it is kind of giving i am getting a very beautiful vibe out of it it says that don't lose your hope you're really really close to everything that you wanted to achieve or the goals that you have set you're really close to achieve those goals okay let's also get some spirit messages for this new moon energy, uh, sorry, full moon energy. Spirits, what are the messages for this full moon that is happening on 6th January? Spirits, what are the messages that for the full moon that is happening on the 6th January? Okay. we have a card that says caregiver beautiful let me read the card for you this is the message from the spirit guides for us during the full moon 
caregiver we are with you and spirit has its own way to, of recognizing the care and love you provide to others especially at the end of their lives just as you received care and love at the start of your life caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process so <clears throat> with this message your spirit guides are trying to tell you that uh, the full moon is an energy that you need to use to nurture yourself as cancer is also a very nurturing and caregiving sign you should not neglect yourself uh, your self care and your health and uh, you should prioritize that during this full moon there are many rituals that you can do you can have a cleansing bath <clears throat> this can also talk about your psychic health because many of you might be suffering from some psychic attacks or headaches or migraines or you might be feeling really low when you meet some individuals so full moon is a beautiful energy where you can you know take care of yourself and if you believe in crystals and if you're using crystals you can also charge up your crystals in the full moon and this moon is also known as a wolf moon uh it has a very beautiful spirit of a wolf so you can use wolf as your spirit guide and ask them for the help for you or you can ask them to guide you during this full moon about taking care of yourself so beautiful we'll take energy cards from this osho deck to get more messages about this full moon and what energy it brings to you and how beautiful it is going to be for all of you okay we have our first card we are going to take three cards we also have our second card we have uh, the queen of swords with control we have three of cups with celebration Let's take one more card. And we have gotten two more cards. Okay, we'll take those. We have <clears throat> King of Cups with healing and 5 of Pentacles with the outsider. Right off the bat, I think new moon is going to bring a lot of healing as healing is right below the gibbous moon i think the moon energy is going to help you a lot to feel emotionally healed or you can use this moon's energy to emotionally heal yourself and understand what are your priorities right now there is a lot of uh, control that you are going to gain after the full moon because i guess confrontation brings a lot of answers to you as you as the moon cards also told us that you are setting out of the comfort zones you are confronting the things the natures the uh, the situations or the emotions that you had already trusted down yourself and they are coming on the surface once you once those things come out in the open you are ready to you know face those things and once you get the answers once you achieve the goals or once you come to a complete circle of why you're feeling that way and get a conclusion you are not letting the past hold you back and you're going to get a beautiful you're going to gain control for most of you you're going to gain control of your emotions your situations and that is going to bring in certain celebrations that is going to bring in uh, opportunities of meeting up with your friends or reconcile with the people that are no were no longer a part of your life once you understand a certain person or there is a clarification on certain situation because of the full moon energy you have not been uh, giving it enough power for the last couple of months or weeks this near full moon is going to push you to address those things or topics and that is going to give you a lot of clarity you're going to gain a lot of control over your life past this full moon and you're going to reconcile with certain people i think reconciliation is also part where you that that is also going to help you in healing yourself 
you're going to meet these individuals you're going to get past your hurdles and come together with these people and that is also going to play a huge part in your healing and it will also it will also help you not feel like an outsider anymore this is giving me a vibe as in you my collective were feeling where you all feel very deeply but you have uh, start you have been unknowingly wearing a mask or to show other people you have not been sharing your true self with individuals and that is why you always looked at others from behind the mask but with this healing with this healing you are letting go that past energy of looking out from the outside on the inside or from the inside on the outside but there was a barrier and with this healing power of the moon you're going to let go of that person or you're going to let go of that mask you're like okay i am healing i need to speak what i feel i need to talk to people about how i feel and that is going to be really beneficial for you that is really going to be amazing for you and this full moon is bringing miracles in short for you beautiful let's take some other cards to understand what more is coming for you in the month of january and in on the full moon that is on 6th january okay i need to shuffle it one more time the spirits are like please shuffle it and yes they flipped some cards for us we have two of wands we have seven of wands and we have five of wands we'll need one more card we have five of pentacles twice we'll take a clarifier for that let's see why there is a five of pentacles here so ace of wands beautiful so uh with the healing there is also a weight that you have been feeling there was a kind of prolonged period of time where you had waited about making a decision you have been looking at things from a distance you have been uh, making a list of pros and cons you have been looking out for options but you have now made up of your mind uh, made up your mind now you're like i know what i need to do that that is where the queen of wands energy falls you know what you want now you have looked around you have waited you have researched about a particular situation and now you're ready to take a decision and you are ready to put your foot down even if that causes conflict with other individuals uh, or even if that means that you have to stand alone in front of 10000 people to make your point you're going to stand up for yourself finally you're going to get that energy to stand up for yourself once you reconcile with the individual that you have in mind or with the situation i get a lot of uh, i am getting a lot of energy of an individual so i think most of you are going to reconcile with an individual that is going to provide you with the power of standing up for yourself <coughs> i'm so sorry and uh, yes there has been a lot of inner conflict an inner and outer conflict and the new moon uh, the full moon's energy is going to heighten that conflict right now and i think uh, meditation is the only way where you can calm yourself down and if you're not into meditation try to exercise that will help to uh calm your self a little bit and if exercise is also not possible right now try to do some yoga some physical activity try to play go play some sports swim if you can if you possibly can if uh, it is not too cold in your country or region and if swimming pools are open a swimming pool a swim will help you if not try to take long long salt baths that will help you calm down and it will really help you with your anxiety 
Other thing is you're going to understand why you're feeling lonely and there is an action that you need to take to get yourself out of the situation. Financially, uh, many of you might have been feeling a drift or there might be a debt that you cannot possibly get around to pay and right now you're feeling that okay what to do how to you know get over this and uh, past is the new moon i think within a week or two there might be a sudden influx of cash for you or there might have been there will be a opportunity that comes where you will have an opportunity of earning much more than you currently are and with good working hours so i think new moon also i'm so sorry i keep saying new moon it is full moon so full moon is also bringing you that energy i think i'm still hung up on the new moon from the last year that happened in december that was a huge new moon for every one of us and i'm still reeling from those energies but this full moon is going to be really beautiful for you i hope you like this reading and if you really did please hit that like button subscribe to my channel and also comment below about how my reading resonated with you you can always come back and comment it is not a compulsion to comment right now okay bye bye